Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. This is your science lecture, science lecture of grade 5th and I am your science teacher Aparna Pandey from Ardent Progressive School, Lamachor. So student, as you all know that in these days, in science, we have started our chapter number 5 and almost all the topics of chapter 5 we have covered and its name is deficiency diseases and communicable diseases and in this chapter that what are deficiency diseases and how to prevent the deficiency diseases why these diseases occur in a person and how to um, recover from the disease all these things we have discussed related to deficiency diseases then i have also discussed uh, with you about communicable diseases but are communicable diseases how these diseases occur who causes these diseases how to and how these uh, disease is spread in the surrounding these all things we have discussed in chapter number 5. Now in today's class students we are going to discuss the last topic of this chapter and it is prevention of communicable diseases. The topic that we are going to discuss today is prevention of communicable diseases and this is the last topic of this chapter but don't think that it is a small no it is quite enough for us to learn so many things from it first thing another thing is that related to this topic so many good and uh, uh, much information is given in your book so for this kindly open your science book page number 46 okay and it is here okay science book page number 46 now we are going to uh, discuss these topics from here. So, as you can see here, the topic in page number 46 is prevention of communicable diseases. So, we are going to discuss this topic. Now, student, you can see here that it is given the spreading of communicable diseases can be checked by the following methods. So, we will discuss that what are the methods given in your Book. So, first it is saying that preventing the breeding and multiplication of germs. So, first of all, the first step that is needed to be done to stop the uh, spreading of communicable disease is that we have to prevent the breeding and multiplication of germs. Now, what do you mean by breeding and multiplication? So, let us see. Breeding of germs means like that suppose one germ is giving birth to another germ then another germ is giving birth to the next germ so in this way they are breeding means germs are giving birth to their babies. So first of all what is required that we must stop the growth we must stop their breeding first thing and second thing is that then we have to check their growth also first of all we have to try that how to stop their breeding how to stop them to reproduce because as much as they will reproduce that much baby will be there and as much babies will be there that much is will be the number of germs right the so first thing is required to stop the, the breeding and the second thing is required then to check the growth. To check the growth means then we have to see the factors which supports the growth of germs and then we have to correct that factors in such a manner that germs must not grow in that area. So let's see what it is. Preventing the breeding and multiplication of germs. So, to control the spreading of diseases, we must make efforts to prevent the breeding of diseases causing germs. And this can be done now. How we can do this? So, this can be done by household be airy and open to sunlight means there should be a proper ventilation in your house. It is saying that the house should be airy and the sunlight must also enter in the house. So, this can be the, this is possible when your house has a proper ventilation. Most of the germs die when exposed to the air or sunlight. Most of the germs die when we expose them to the proper air or sunlight. Then room should have wire 
netting to prevent the entry of flies, mosquitoes, etc. What is this now? Wire netting. Wire netting means just आप से आप कहते हैं ना जाली लगी हो ना जाली लगी हो ना means it can be the wire netting doors can be there, wire netting windows can be there which can prevent the entry of mosquitoes and flies. जैसे Bedding and clothing should be placed in sunlight from time to time. Bedding and clothing means the bed items that your bed sheet, your pillows, your blankets they must be um, uh, placed in the they must be placed in the sunlight as well as your clothes also. I think uh, you all have heard from your parents that ki you must put your clothes in sunlight. Why they are saying this? Because sunlight helps in preventing the growth of germs. Then water should not be allowed to collect in or near the houses. And water should not be collect in a near place of your house or inside your house. That's why I hope that you have heard during summer and monsoon season especially. Government says many times that don't keep the store water inside or outside of your house never keep stored water outside why because due to that stored water it gives support for two germs to grow more and more which causes diseases so water should not be allowed to collect in or near the houses then Toilets and bathrooms should be cleaned with dis disinfectant at regular intervals. So we must clean our toilets and bathrooms with disinfectant in regular intervals. Then drink clean and safe water. Impure water should be boiled for about 10 to 20 minutes and then stored in clean and covered containers. First thing is it is saying that you always you must drink the safe and clean water. Second thing is that if you have impure water. So now what process you will do to make it clean and safe for drinking. So you must boil that water from 10 to 20 minutes. And after that you can store that water in a clean container. And after uh, putting that water in a container, container must be covered. Okay. Then boil milk to kill the germs present in it. And suppose in terms of the milk what we can say that for milk we must take a boiled milk only because by boiling only we can kill the germs that are present in milk. Use covered dust beans to prevent the breeding of flies. Use covered dust beans means if your dustbin is open so the type of a smell and dirt will create there due to the garbage that you have stored in dustbin and which invite the flies and if flies will come in that area then more and more flies will come they will breed because they are getting the environment that they want and what we have to do we have to check we have to stop such environment which give favor to flies, mosquitoes, different insects and germs which causes diseases. So that's why we must use the covered dust trees. Never dump garbage near your house. Always keep your surrounding clean means you must not throw the things near your house. Now near your house does not mean that if you are not putting garbage near your house so you are putting your garbage in front of the, your neighbor's house. No, it does not mean like this. It means that you must throw the garbage in a proper places which are prepared for putting garbage for most things. Second thing is that nowadays you know very well that municipality has done such a preparation that they are sending such vehicles to our areas in which we can throw our garbage. So always remember this that you have to throw garbage outside. You must not put garbage in your surrounding but you must throw the garbage in the proper place which is made for it. Not in this manner that wherever you want to uh, throw you are throwing and leaving your surrounding clean. It does not mean like that. Okay. Then always keep your water and food covered. Never eat food exposed to dirt and flies 
as sold by hawkers okay so never eat such food which is placed in the open area where dust as well as flies is there because it causes food poisoning it causes many such diseases which can create infection in your intestine okay then students all causes of infectious diseases should be informed to the health officer so that he may take the necessary precautions to check the further spreading of the disease these points we have discussed to know that how to prevent the breeding and multiplication of germs so by following these steps we can prevent further growth or further breeding of germs but there are so many other things that are required to do to prevent the spreading of communicable diseases for example for the prevention of malaria we need to do some important steps what are these let's see you have learned that malaria is spread through mosquitoes we all know that malaria is spread through mosquitoes to prevent malaria we should follow the following methods now what are these let's see so point number 1 it is saying do not allow water to stagnate near your house water to stagnate means you must not allow water to to stop near your house suppose you have seen that there are the drainage where in your areas in your colonies so the drainage must be like this that water must flow it must not be stop at a point either it will give growth to the mosquitoes okay so do not allow water to stagnate near your house this will prevent the breeding of mosquitoes second spray a thin film of oil on ponds to prevent breeding of mosquitoes because when you spray oil on water then a type of a layer will be uh, occur there over water and which stops the direct connection of mosquitoes and water so by doing this also we can check the growth of mosquitoes spray ddt around your houses to kill mosquitoes okay so we must spray ddt around our houses to kill mosquitoes fourth step is that use mosquito repelling cream like odomos to keep away the mosquitoes and you can apply different types of creams nowadays they are available in market which keeps mosquito away so you can apply such creams also then sleep under a mosquito net in a days when you find that so much mosquitoes are there in a surrounding so one major method that you can apply to protect yourself from mosquito that you can sleep under the mosquito net and use wire mesh in the doors and windows to prevent the entry of mosquitoes as i have explained you wire mesh or wire netting like that now so here students we have also discussed that how to check the growth of mosquitoes to prevent uh, the spreading of malaria let's see now th uh, third type is preventing the spread of germs from a sick person to a healthy person now if there is a condition then one person is sick and another person is healthy so how we can stop the spreading of disease from sick to the healthy person so let's see what are the steps point number 1 the patient should be kept in a separate room as you all know nowadays whenever if we are feeling that any person is suffering from any type of disease we are separating him or her na we are giving them separate room so then they can keep themselves isolate there so it is the same thing that the patient should be kept in a separate room the clothes and other things of the patient should be kept separate these should be disinfected by boiling in water the clothes and the other items of that person who is suffering from disease must be kept separate and at the time of washing the clothes of that person we must use the boiled water so that germs must die keep the room of the patient clean it is required very much the room is not clean properly then it will support the growth of germs and which we have to stop the patient should be made to vomit or spit in a separate bowl or in the toilet okay means he must not spit in the area where others are also spitting either germs will spread 
in a speed. Then, children suffering from disease should not be allowed to go to school unless they have fully recovered. And if any person, if any children or a kid suffering from disease, then they must not be allowed to go to school because if they will go to school, they will meet to the other kids, to other children and the chances of spreading disease will increase. So if any kid or children is suffering from disease, then they must stay at home till they are not feeling refreshed or they are not recovered. Now, Increasing resistance again disease causing germs. Now what should we do to resist the germs that causes disease? To resist the germs that causes disease means कि हमें ऐसा क्या करना चाहिए कि हम उन germs को stop कर दें कि वो कोई disease create ना कर पाए. So resistance against diseases can be developed by vaccination. If we want to stop the spreading of disease by germs in our body, then we must vaccinate ourselves. This protects us by acquiring immunity against certain diseases. Children are vaccinated as a protection against disease such as diphtheria, cholera, typhoid, tetanus, polio, measles, mumps, meningitis etc. This is done at health centers. So you can ask this thing to your parents as well as you have uh, of course if you have seen if you have any younger brother or sister so you can notice that your parents are taking them to the hospital for the vaccination. They have cards. Uh, some vaccines are to be done in 6-6 six, six months. Some vaccines are to be done in 3-3 three, three months. So why they are uh, giving such vaccines to your brother and sisters because these vaccination system is started by the health centers so that we can prevent the children from diseases like cholera, typhoid, measles, polio, tetanus and many other right. So that's why we need vaccination. Now let's see what is community sanitation okay. So when we say community sanitation, it is saying that the garbage thrown in the open space is the main source of breeding for house flies and mosquitoes as I have already explained to you. To prevent communicable diseases, the breeding and multiplication of these insects should be checked. This also I have told you to stop the breeding of insects, mosquitoes and germs. We must check that uh, how to what are the steps that we can take to stop the growth of germs? So this can be done by keeping our house and surrounding clean. So this thing we can do by keeping our house and surrounding clean. There should be a proper disposal of garbage and sewage. There should be a proper disposal of garbage as I told you earlier as well as sewage. Sewage means the dirt, the waste material that we are putting out of our body, it must have a proper sewage pathway to pass from the areas. Okay, it must not be done in open. The proper disposal of garbage inside and outside our house is called sanitation. If we are doing proper disposal of garbage and garbage inside and outside of our house, then it is called sanitation. This is essential for the health of the community means for our health as well as for the good health of the community we must do this because first our responsibility then our family responsibility then our surrounding responsibility is ours only okay we have to only see these all things so by doing these small small steps we can support to our surrounding also to stay healthy, we must keep our surrounding clean. So there are national programs to keep our surrounding clean and to eradicate communicable diseases. So there are many national programs that are started by the government so that they can create awareness among the public to keep their surrounding clean. One of them is, as I told you, uh, these days you have found that municipal party is sending one vehicle to throw the garbage. 
so it is a type of a support that is done by the government to make us aware that don't throw garbage in the surrounding just throw it in the proper place where it should be thrown so students in today's class here we have discussed about the prevention of the communicable diseases today we here we have discussed about the several steps that can be taken to prevent the spreading of communicable diseases and here we have also completed our chapter number 5 so i hope the things that i have explained you today you all are getting that i hope you all will like this video thank you and have a nice day ahead